So here's a short, quick video to show you how to, on your Fataba T4PM transmitter, set up the timer so that it works. Here's your timer. You can see that? Yep, set to zero. And what we want to do is set it so that you can start and stop your timer. To reset it, uh, you have to get it to start again. And while it's rolling off, then you push and hold the button to get it to go back to zero. But um, some guys and I at the, were at the track on Sunday and we were talking about how to do this and we weren't sure, even though it's actually fairly straightforward. So let's go into the menu. And that's just a down, you just take the toggle um, button and pull it down and that gets you into your menus and then with a, a right left you can go through the menu pages and we want to go to page four and the first one at the top is timer so let's go into that we have it set to go up from the five minutes so it starts at zero goes up to five minutes but the nice thing about it at least the way I'm using it today, is it just keeps going. And it beeps every minute after the five minutes. So it gives you a, a significant alarm at five minutes. And then at six minutes, it beeps. Seven minutes, it beeps and so on. So it's nice. You can just keep going if you want, if that's what you're doing, which is what I'm doing. I'm at, uh, you know, I use the timer during a practice round. And I would go to my five minutes uh, which is kind of a typical race time. And then I want to go a few extra minutes. And I'm not worried about my battery being hurt because my ESC is set to safe mode. But I kind of like to know how long I ran. And then when I recharge my batteries, I can see, you know, for a six or seven minute run, how long it took to charge that battery back up to full how many milliamps of power it put back in the battery. So I just want to be able to use this timer. And like I said, I wasn't sure how to do it, but here's how you do it. So we get into the timer through the menu mode. You get to here and you can go up and down through the different settings. It's easy to change this. Right now it's set to up. You just go left or right and it goes from lap to down to up and like I said, we're gonna we're gonna leave it up. You can go down to five minutes. Oh, let's see, let's go back to that. Let's go down. So we wanna toggle down and not this button. We wanna toggle down. So we're at five minutes. Let me see what can we change there. So from five minutes, six, seven, eight. Yes, we're kind of whatever you want in minutes. We'll leave it at five and then we'll go down. Oh, reset mode. I don't know if that if it had a time on it which let's see if we can do that. So let's start, I have my button one down here to start the timer. Yep. And its mode is run. And let's go to run. Okay, that reset it. And let's see if we do that again. Hmm. Oh, I can do. already it must be that it's ready and then I can start it no I don't know what that RDY is hmm. huh. reset that's a stop and reset so if I push the button and hold it it resets that to zero so, well, the difficult thing with setting this was to get it to actually be on a button. Button here, button here, one of these buttons across here, maybe this button. I didn't know which button it was to set up. So, let's go down. We'll go down, and we are to the switch. Push that. Okay, then you get into this mode. And when you first get into it, 
both of these are set to off. Let me see if I can get that to be, there you go. It looked like this. So I thought, well, let's change switch one, which I believe, yep, that side button right there is switch one. I thought, well, maybe that'd be kind of handy. It's right there. So I wanted to toggle through switch one. And there isn't a timer. So ultimately I ended up going down to, whoops, let me go back to that. And go down to switch. So I went down to switch two and toggled through that. Well, let's see if I can find timer here. There, okay, so timer switch two. And that's really all that it, all you need to do. And then if you uh, hit your escape button, which is the down button here, gets you back to the timer, hit another one, gets you back to your main menus, hit it again, gets you back to your normal screen. So now we have our timer that is currently reading zero, set to switch one, which is, I know you can't see it, it's under my wrap, but there is a button right there and it's nice that it worked this way, I guess, keep dirt and stuff out of it, but you can activate it. Um, we're set to zero right now. Push that, it's counting up, and that's how you do that. And then like I said, while it's rolling, if you push, that stops it, and then if you continue to hold it, it resets to zero. You'd think if you push it and start it, that if you pushed it, again, it would just stop, which it does, and then if you wanted to reset it, you could hold it there. But as soon as you push it, it starts counting again. And if you hold it, it doesn't reset. Oh, there it goes. Oh, so prove me wrong. So there you go. You push it to start it, push it to stop it. And then with it stopped, you can just hold it. Even though it's counting, it will reset there. Oh, nice. So you learn something every day. So um, again, Fataba. T 4 p.m. and how to activate and run your timer. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. Thanks for watching and um, good luck racing.